Hello and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob and I call myself Sansomi. And let me just start by saying if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. It would help me out a lot. And if you are, I would say thank you very, very much. Now, first day game of the, for today is against Crawley Town at home in the league. And it's going to be interesting. Interesting to see what kind of players we can use as well. And I'm actually thinking maybe we should throw in Macaulay Gray here. Um, try with Alex on the bench. And for the rest, I think we're going to keep it like it's been. Let's see if Macaulay Gray can do something better today than, than we have done so far. Come on, Welling. <clears throat> Gray, of course, missing in match fitness. He hasn't really been playing, so. And let's see here. Give the fans something. They're composed. And let's kick off this game. Let's see what happens. At home to Crawley Town, as I said, Crawley Town being 18th in the league. We are on the second position with this point that we so far have. As long as we don't let a goal in here, we do have a point. And um, that brings us up with one more game played as well, of course. So we really could do with a win here. That would have been nice. Maybe we could even, we could even surpass Dons if we win here today for a short while until they play their game number 10. So uh, yeah, of course we would really love for, my, for our team to play better than this. What's going on? Don't like it. I'm going to demand more. Come on, lads. You need to play better than this. Okay, we're going to go in the dressing room. Pump our fists. Keep working hard and it will come. Start second half. I'm actually going to see what can we do. Oh crap, this was not what we were supposed to get into. Tactics here, that one. I'm just thinking maybe we could put him on something else. Not a... not... Maybe... Maybe go attacking with him like that and see what happens. <clears throat> Come on. Come on, Welling. I'm going to demand more again. I'm going to see what we can do here. Maybe higher tempo, more direct. Come on. Let's push for all of these as well. Let's go. Come on, Welling. We need a three-pointer here. It would have been lovely if we could get a three-pointer. Get surpassed MK Dunce before. Oh, here they come. Crawley with the opportunity and they score. Dang it. What to do, what to do. I think Oscar Thorne is going to get off his process coming in. Um, let's give. Do we have, yeah, Tyler Morton. That just leads to another opportunity for them and they score again. What in God's name is going on? I'm not going to be happy with my lads after this game, that's for sure. How can we be this bad? Come on, Welling, what's going on? Oh, 
I don't know what to do. Honestly. Very attacking. Try to get one back. Don't think that's the right melody, but... No, Kura being very tired, so... That's going to be a problem in the cup game against Wimbledon, I guess. We didn't... I didn't see us create a chance. Or do we create a chance here? Chris Proser? Yeah, he created a chance and a shot on goal. That's a, I think that's the first highlighted situation where we actually have a chance to score. And it took 93 minutes to get there. That's horrible. Here's Okuru. Could we get a comfort goal? No, we could not. Look at that. 8-3 and fix 3 and they win with 2-0. Oh, how bad, how bad, how bad. I'm getting depressed here now. We are not playing good. I need to be thrashing my arms and um, yeah, I need to be angry with them. But that's the first game of this episode. I'll guess I'll see you in the next one. And so we're here. Time for a Papa John's Trophy game away against Wimbledon. They are a division down. They're in League Two. So we should be favourites. Um, let's see what kind of players we can use today and how we look. Um, I'm thinking about bringing down Oscar Thorne, but now with the stars rating. Come on, star rating of Eddie Petri is so much higher there, and he's still a three. I mean, yeah, I'm going to go with this. Let's see, what else do we have? Um, I'm thinking, let's just do this. And I'm considering, um, I think I'm going to do this, actually, to try and see if Paris Maghoma is the right alternative. Maybe he should be in the team instead of uh, Adset at the moment. Or maybe put Adset in there. Let's see what that doesn't do anything. But Magahoma and Adset play good together. Hmm, so let's... Yeah, I'm going to play like this today. Even though Paris Magahoma is tired, he's available for the under-23. Let's see if we can get away with a win here today. Maybe then we bring uh, Paris into the first team and try to play him a lot more. Um, I think we're going to go with this. Let's let's see what happens today. Uh, we need to start putting together a couple of of games in a row where we win, and um, I'm hoping. This could be the the game to do to start it off. Um, they are not in our division, so we should be. They are in the league two, so we should be favourites. Uh, but uh, you never know. <clears throat> We've had the first shot, and it was a shot on target. Three shots and three shots on target. But still no highlights, which is a bit of a surprise, I think. Come on, Welling. Oh, 6-4 now in shots here. 7-4, but they have 1-1 one, one here now. They've had their first shot, and it was on target. Well, I would be very disappointed if we play like this, control the game like this, and they score. Oof, we managed to get away with that one. Petri to Thorn. Here comes Thorn. Oscar Thorn is through. And Oscar. Oh. Good save by their keeper, Fowler. And let's see here. Corner by Bancoma. He floats it in. And they headed it away. And there's no Welling player there. So it's a chance for Wimbledon. Here they come. And good tackle by Folks there. Gets the ball out of their control. So come on, Welling United. Come on. It's um, 
Wimbledon coming here again. I don't want to go behind again and try to fight our way back. We need to start taking control of games and start to... Oh, come on! Eddie, what are you doing there? Hamilton, Petri, Adshead, Wigget, Dunn, Folks. Come on. Break some. Oh, that could have been a good chance. Now it is a good chance for them. Etherington. I remember an Etherington. Oh, crap. In the 90s, there was a young lad, ne young left midfielder in Peterborough named Matthew Etherington. I oh, great save by Egan. I always bought him. I always played him in the in my Manchester United team, which I always played back in the 90s when it was Championship Manager. I, I don't think I ever played with any other team than Manchester United back then. So, uh, yeah, um, that's changed a bit. Let's see, Thorn, come on. But I do remember Matthew Etherington coming up uh, in the... Oh, Oscar Thorn to take the penalty. Coming up in the same time as Simon, Simon Davis, also from Peterborough, though, but that was another good player. Thorn, yes! 1 0 for Welling United. Yes. As I said, Simon Davis, he could play centre in the midfield and on the right, I believe. It's many years ago, so. and But he's. It was very rare for him to work his way into my team, but Effington. Once Ryan Giggs was surpassed, he, he was there, he, he played. So, uh, and there comes number two, Oscar Thorn. yes! So Matthew, Matthew Etherington was a player I, I always bought. And I remember back in the days, the Collier brothers was actually in the game. They played, or well, they were players in Cambridge United. And uh, once I found them, I always bought them as well. So that was kind of a cheat because they have made themselves very good. So, so um, yeah, if you ever get a copy of the first championship manager back from 92, 93, something like that, um, then you will find the Colliers, the Collier brothers that created this game. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you're a... If you're a lover of this game, you know that, but um, I just wanted to say it. They were creator of this game uh, way back in the early 90s. And um, yeah, as I said, they were two players uh, in the in Cambridge United, um, which I always bought as well. They were, were a Premier League quality on those two. So yeah. Let's see, pump up fist and still room for improvements. Good thing we have a 2 0 lead here. I'm thinking maybe take out Eddie Patry. But who do we have on the bench? Chris Prosser should not be playing in that situation. So then I'll have to bring Bayer, take him back. Oscar Thorne, I think I'm going to do that actually. And I'm going to do that now. So we're going to bring Oscar Thorne to that position and then. Take out Eddie Petri for Chris Prosser and give Chris Prosser a chance to work his way back into the team. It's a nice situation to have three, four good strikers as we have. Um, yes, they are not Premier League quality or anything like that. Oh, Oscar Thorne gets a hat trick. Super. Super, super, and if Brighton can win against uh, MK Dance, the Brighton under-23, then uh, we are uh, winners of this group already, I think. Or maybe not, we will have six points, they will have, all, have, all the other three will have three points, so, yeah. No, no they won't. If they play a draw... I will at least get a second position. There's no way Wimbledon can... Wimbledon is the only team that can surpass me in that case. Ooh! 
Come on! So if Dons and Brighton eager draws, they will only have one point and can only get four points. And I'm already on six if I win this game, which I am supposed to do. We are in the seventh, seventh minute. So Mahoma will most likely get to play. I may think I need to do something else as well. We need to fail a Morton there. But we also need to go in on this. Because I don't think Gray should be playing as a deep line playmaker. There we go. And ooh, Prosa close to scoring. And set. Oh. Come on. So the changes, as you can see here, would be perfect if they draw, because then we are through to the next round. And um, we should be winning the group as well. Brighton taking the lead now in that game. But Dons is completely out of it. And that's the team that we're going to play in the last game, uh, which hope hopefully make them just put in reserve players or, or something like that so that we can beat them without that's got to be offside unfortunately would have been great otherwise but um or wasn't it was it not offside i was pretty sure that it was offside oh let's see here now he's back there oh number whatever his name that player there was too far down let's see what his name is o'brien was uh, did cancel out the offside that was nice really really nice four nil that's a good result so hopefully will give a lot of uh, morale boost to our players that uh, can be helpful in putting together a, a series of win now we're going to have a couple of days off now i'm not going to be um i'm not going to be resting them from training but we don't have a, a game this weekend because Portsmouth had too many players on international duty so they postponed the game we have uh, a couple of players away as well so that was just good for us but uh, it's gonna take a while before we reach the next game but uh, that won't do you anything it will just be Time for me, so uh, I'll guess I'll just see you in that one. And so we're here, game three, halfway through the episode. We're going to face off against Blackpool away in the league. Let's just jump into this and see what kind of players we can use today and uh, who we want to use. Uh, Folks seems to be injured, so um, Morton, of course, coming in there. We don't want him on the bench either since he is injured. So let's go with Bojang. I guess better to have a left than none at all. And then I was thinking Aiden. Let's put him up first there. And I was actually thinking maybe I should give him the opportunity to play today. Oh, he's a half a star better. According to this than Daniel Ad said. And I'm going to keep Daniel Ad said completely out of the team today. Um, not even on the bench. Um, because I don't think he develops and he's still complaining. So yeah, that's why I keep him. I'm, I'm taking him off today. I'm going to keep uh, Paris, Mike Homer. I've taken away the under 23 situation on him. So he's not available for under 23 anymore. We have um, another striker back, actually. We have this Alex Jaycock is back as well. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be tough to know who we are to play. We have signed a little... Last season, I said, we had only a good st uh, strikers uh, because of the strikers we've lent. This season, we have bought up a lot of... We will bought two of them, Eddie Patry and Chris Prosser, as we had last season. And above that, we have re Oscar Thorne, who's back and, and, and is brilliant for us again. Um, so, so that's a, a, a brilliant thing. And um, yeah, uh, now we have good strikers, actually. I do believe in our strikers. And... 
I'm playing like Alex Jacox week, which I find was a good signing as well, I think, is being held outside of the team. Uh, even if he was fit, he would not be playing. Eddie Petri, Oscar Thorne and Chris Proser are the three that goes first, so to speak. And then we, I think, I think Akinvale might have a, a bigger potential. But Alex, I think Alex is a better player at the moment. So that's another uh, thing that is going to be complicated, of course. Um, yeah. I'm a bit disappointed with uh, Stuart Rodwell Grant, to be honest. He's training very, very bad. Look at all the arrows going down. He's training 7.37, so I still have to praise his training, but he's losing in all the the numbers here, which is kind of irritating for me um, in my mind. Um, so, yeah. But I think maybe we should be changing these out because he's... Uh, looking at this, it said that he's a better central defender than a ball playing defender. He's still training as a ball playing defender because I like uh, to have ball playing defenders in my defense. So, uh, but let's go with this um, and see what if that changes anything. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go with this team. It looks green all the way here. Unfortunately, folks is injured. As we know, Martin Turney is injured. It's going to be interesting to give Aiden Dingy the opportunity to play today. Hopefully, he will prove himself to be good enough to play. And, um, yeah, it's one of those players that uh, was kicked out of, I think it was Arsenal. Yes. So, uh, a good... Um, sign that he could become a good player so let's let's submit this team and let's get rolling and let's see what we can get out of this team of this game if we can build upon the winnings that we've had now or the winning that we had last game with um, where we really demolished Wimbledon um, but at the same time, we do know that Wimbledon is a division lower, of course. So we should win against them. But scoring goals and stuff like that is always good for the morale of the team. And hopefully that will show through to this game here. Um, we're going to have to see if uh, the three, the hat-trick that Oscar Thorne scored in the last game will help him make a good game today. Uh, hopefully it will. Kuru trying to get that one, but couldn't head it towards a, a, a player on his own side, or another Welling player, I should say. Here comes um, Blackpool. This does not look good. They seem to be coming with full control here. We are having a problem getting our hands on the ball, yes. Dang it, James Stevens makes it 1-0. For, uh, or Jamie Stevens makes it 1-0 for Blackpool. That's not good. But I could see that they were they were controlling the thing here. And we leave them way too much space there. Way too much space. Do I have... Let's have a look at the thingamajing here. Um, use, of, use title marking. Yes, we do have... Tight marking. Let's go and prevent short goalkeepers. Let's give those striker something to work for as well. So let's see what we can do. Come on. We can't fall like this. We're 10th in the league now. Now, it sort of takes some of the pressure off now that they are... Just saying that they want me to end at the top half of the division. That certainly is something that I'm okay with. Um, that is a pressure I'm okay with. That's okay that they want me to end up there. But um, yeah, we still need to play better. We still need to find that 
last little bit in order to be good enough. Taylor Morton is tired, but I can't change him out because I don't have a right defender to midfielder to put in there. So, but other than that, the team isn't, isn't very tired. So I'm going to go... Point my finger because I want to go with the assistance recommendation here. And Paris Mahoma seems demotivated. That's not good. He's supposed to be the player that supposed to be the difference here here comes Blackpool again there's Jamie Stevens the, oh he yeah, passes to Petri and oh tries to reach Thorne there but he couldn't here comes Blackpool again Dunn Morton now they steal it back again they just seem to be uh, on another level than we are which uh, is uh, strange I don't don't believe I don't think that they should be um, there's no reason for them to be that much better than us come on we need to play something better um, Patrice stealing that one gives it to Thorn Thorn goes past his player can he get th oh, a good pass to Patrice Patrice scores it's an equaliser by Eddie Petrie after a beautiful pass by Oscar Thorne. Oh, ho, ho. Could this be the turning point in this game? Look at that pass. Perfect to Eddie Petrie. And just finding this little gap there between the goalkeeper and the post. Ah, exquisite. And it's 1-1. And none of the players, except for the Tyler Morton player, is uh, tired in the sense that we need to do changes. So oh, good save by Egan there. Thank you very much, Egan. You need to do a very good game now, Toby Egan. That's for sure. Come on, 60 minutes now. And here's Blackpool with a throw-in. Stevens, Virtue. They are actually playing very well. And uh, I'm surprised that we have a 1-1 one -one result as in this minute because they've been dominating in the at least in the highlights that they've shown it's been all about uh, Blackpool so uh, we do want to I want to I want to oh crap a -roni. you know what I need to do something Macaulay Gray is going to come in there and we need a uh, so we're going to have an advanced playmaker instead of that deep line playmaker. Dang it. Q1 to Blackpool. That's not what I wanted, of course. Oscar Thorne being very tired. Let's bring in Chris Prozer as well. And, um, yeah. Instruction. Let's raise the tempo again more and um, let's do that instead and see what happens what do we do in the year over let's get stuck in as well let's go come on welling we were on our way we I'm having a problem getting them uh, the stable thing uh, I mean I'm not talking about the horse stable the, the, getting a stable performance getting a stable team to play is uh, I'm, I'm making too many changes I guess so yeah um, I believe for the next game Axe Head will probably be back and uh, we're just gonna have to see what happens in that game another lost which is so depressing but um, there's one more game to play in this episode and I guess I'll just see you there and so we're here last game of this episode it's at home to uh, Jamie Vardy's old club Fleetwood so uh, yeah let's just dig in or jump in or whatever we're gonna say and see what players we're gonna use today uh, we're going to bring back 
um, Daniel ad set. I think I'm going to give Digi a chance on the bench though and put Macaulay Gray out of the team entirely today. Freddie Stewart has been out for a couple of days as well, uh, a couple of games, I said, I should say. Uh, Folks being back, so let's put him back into the team. And I think Morton would be a better reserve player than Bojang. Let's see, is there anything else? Any tired players in the team? Doesn't look like it. So maybe we should just jump in with this team and hopefully things will go better today. Um, oh, the link up is gone between those two. That's weird. Oh well, let's just move into the game and see what we can do today then. Go to match. And uh, dressing room. Pompa Fist. I don't think I'm going to be listening to him. I'm going to go with I expect nothing but a win. And then we skip. So last game of this episode. Home to Fleetwood. Which, um, yeah, they are on the play playoff situation, so, um, yeah, uh, probably a, quite a good team. Um, hopefully not as good as Blackpool, though. Come on. We are better than this. Wigget, Curry, Wigget, Okuro. Okuro getting the ball way too far from himself. Oh, crap. Could have created so oh we get being a bit too high up there oh egan with a good save thank you egan we do owe a lot to toby egan through the years i should say um he's been a good keeper for us for many many years i think it's strange that he still hasn't been sold uh, i think if i'm not mistaken i think there was a time when there was some club trying to buy him but we signed a new contract with him and since then we haven't heard anybody that wanted to buy him oh look at that goal by Owen Heskizik but come on what are we doing why can't you get the team to work anymore we started the season so incredibly good and now we're just falling through I know that Martin Turney was a very important player for us but for God's sake, not that important, was he? Really? Come on, we need to play better than this. I mean, I haven't really changed anything uh, about this either. Let's try and get it a shorter passing the style then and see if that can help us. Hmm. Let's play out of the defense as well. Uh, in transition. I don't want to change anything there. Um, no, that's good. So let's see if we can do better with a shorter passing style. I doubt it, since um, the Okuro moment there when he gets it, the ball way too far away from himself when he just uh, receives the ball. A good from Petri being up pressing the goalkeeper come on and now that should be yours we get his curry curry with a long ball trying to reach Petri but he doesn't his Mahoma Paris Mahoma finds folks folks moves with the ball and tries to find Thorn Oscar Thorn makes it 1-1 one, one. thank you very much Oscar now continue this please continue to improve here and continue to give us the opportunity oscar thorn equalizes for us there that's superb super super let's see if we can't get this to work come on welling united come on welling come on welling we need to play better. Done. My homer. Done. Rodwell Grant. My homer. Petri. 
Ad said. My homer. Ooh, long ball out to Folks. Folks trying to get it in, but he couldn't. Ad said gets the ball. My homer. We have a little pressure on them at the moment. That's good. That's nice to see. Maybe we should play a, a shorter passing style then. Maybe our players are good enough to handle that. Done. Stealing that one. Rodwell. Makoma. Ad said. Petri. And a good ball for, to Oscar Thorne. He gets a second chance. Oh! Come on! Come on, come on, Welling. We're really desperate in need of a three-pointer. All right. But we played good here the last couple of minutes. That's good. Um, hoping it will continue in the second half. Because the first half is over there. Now we... I'm going to pump my fist and, of course, go with that one. Not many get got uh, motivated, but, uh, yeah. Let's see what we can do now. Eddie Patry getting a bit tired. Uh, getting faults as well. But the way we played the last couple of minutes i i really hate to do any changes uh, until we've at least have scored or something but we can't seem to create anything all of a sudden so maybe i should go in and uh, see to it that eddie patry yeah we're gonna do that now i think i'm gonna pause the game as well and because i want them to change position and then bring in chris prosa and I think we're going to go with Tyler Morton to try and get that in. And do we want to do something else? I think we're going to be satisfied with that. Confirm changes. Unpause it. Let's see what happens. Come on. It's done. Morton. Oh, bad pass by Morton, but Rodwell won't get that one. Steve Dunn. My home mark to Oscar Thorne, and he scores, but it's disallowed. It's an offside goal. Dang it. Come on, we need a three-pointer. We're in desperate need of a three-pointer, I must say that. It's too early in the season to fall this far behind. We are never going to be able to, to reach our goals, our personal goals, because the club's goals, we can still... We're still I'm 100% I'm sure we're going to end up... Uh, that's an, another offside goal. Prosa, what did you do? As I said, I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure we can end up in the top half of the league. Uh, we, we are good enough to do that. But we need to get a, a series of three-pointers now because I don't want to have to fight at the end of the season to reach that playoff position or something like that come on 10 minutes to go we can still do one change but we have no i don't think i really have any players that i can put in do we have let's bring in harry brithwithel there because steve dunn is really tired and the game is over it's going to end a two a one one draw Unfortunately, we couldn't get the three-pointer, but we did play a lot better when we brought down the sh to shorter play. So I'm going to do that um, as a basic one. And I'm going to do go with that. We were unlucky today, so I don't bring them down completely in the morale. Now, I'm going to do that at once here. We're going to do like that. Now we have done that change. Now we're going to go through what we generally used to. What we regularly used to do. £113,000 are lost. We are under £2 million now. So we are really falling. Which isn't good. It's really, really bad, I would say. Uh, if we don't find a way to... To solve this, we're going to be ending up with some major issues. Um, yeah, and I don't know how to fix it, to be honest. Um, we can't, we are 
spending less, a lot less than our wage budgets uh, are giving us. We have a, hardly touched the transfer budget. We do have two million, so we, we have a couple of months before we're going to be uh, getting into some dangerous numbers here. But I mean, eating over a hundred thousand a month—that that's just just not bearable. We need to get something done about that. That's for sure. Um, of course, we want we want to to get a better income, and that's sponsor money and sh and and, and uh, things like that. So, but being down on twelfth position was not what I was expecting. We we started the season so very good, being in the I think it was after one or two episodes we were at second position and then we've just fallen like a stone. I think we've, in the two latest episodes, we have got together, I think it's five points. We had, we had 14 and I think it's six games that we have played. So in the six first games, we did bring together 14 points, and in the last six games, we have brought in five points, which is a, a shamble. It, it's, it's horrible. And yes, we have been drawn in the FA Cup against Storbridge, some non-league th team. So I hope we're going to be winning that quite easily. Uh, now knocked out of the Carabao Cup in the third round by Leeds. We're going good in the Papa Jones Trophy. Two winnings out of two, uh, so that's a, a brilliant thing. We can, we are ready to, we have qualified, as you can see here, but we are not sure to end up in first place. It all depends on how things goes against Duns here. We need a point to be sure to end up in first place. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um um if we can get through that by uh, beating or at least get a draw against duns there so in the next episode we have the games we have games against salford at home through away luton away and oxford at home so purely a league episode next episode which is going to be nice and hopefully we will be able to bring in some points there we did play a lot better when we changed it to a shorter play let's hope that that will be um helping us in this in the next episode as well so um yeah but as i said i am worried about the finances it doesn't look good uh, so but it, we're gonna have to f continue to struggle with that and see what happens but um yeah i guess that's all folks uh do like subscribe and all that nice stuff um stay safe out there in this dangerous world and have heaps of fun and i'll just end with bye bye bye, -bye.